Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft world. Day two of the week of video every day. Yeah, before I get into today's stuff, just a quick update on yesterday. I've added an extra wall in uh, that, that was missing from when I originally built this thing. I haven't done the, uh, the downstairs maintenance area yet. I want to want to spend some time and try and figure out like a washer dryer situation down here. But yeah, I just added an extra wall in here. Uh, stuck some paintings up that you can see from outside. Might get rid of that one so you can see more of the wall. Uh, and then yeah, just nothing in there because no windows to see into it. So yeah, I've, uh, I've done the little roundabout in the center of this like town square. This is like an instance of me not doing the copper colors. Uh, like normally I've got that light blue flower because there's no like cyan flower. So it's that and the orange tulip, try, like representing the orange and cyan, but uh, I've not done that here. So it's meant to kind of stand alone as like something of this town rather than of the the lineage of the village kind of. So something I kind of meant to do with the town is have red featured more um, because when I started doing the town, they just added mangrove. Before I thought of carrying over the copper stuff from the village, uh, I thought maybe uh, I'll I'll do a color theme for each each settlement. So red was meant to be it, but then we actually got our hands on mangrove, and uh, I don't know I, I don't know how I feel about the color of mangrove. So I feel like it's similar to the mud bricks, where the the like the the tone of the color is just slightly off from the rest of the Minecraft color palette and it's just like difficult to make work at least in the style of stuff that I'm doing um like if it's like the main featured block in a in a build maybe it's easier but I don't know I've struggled with it a bit and like law wise I prefer the way I've got copper stuff um like featured in the history of the world and stuff so yeah, I'm sticking with that. Yeah, so that's this little bit done. The main build today is going to be over here. It's going to be a decent chunk of the this side of the street. And uh, yeah, I guess what I was just oops, what I was just doing before I hit record was filling in this little corner here. There we go. But yeah, I guess I'll just uh, I'll just get stuck in, and uh, I'll see you on the other side for a walkthrough. finished the build and wanted to walk along this bit of road to kind of reveal it to sort of get that sort of feeling of walking around the town. So it's a little grocery store uh, sort of building off the idea of this was meant to be like a corner shop. You need like an actual supermarket sort of place to go and buy actual food. So uh, yeah, that's what this is meant to be. So let's uh, let's step back a bit. So first off, let's look at the top bit. Like this is meant to be like a a facade built onto what was originally some like old brick building. I don't want to overuse mud bricks, basically. So I I wish I knew where I'd seen this. I was going through a, like a Google image search looking for old like stone building sort of things, and there was this one picture of. It was like a, like a, a ring of 
stone building with like a courtyard in the middle. And it had this sort of thing going on where, like we talked about last time, um, it has like the the general colour with then bits of like texture placed in it just to suggest that this is maybe like brickwork here. Um, maybe it's plastered over or something and there's a bit of brick showing. I mean, I know it's planks, but trying to suggest that it's brick, right? With the with this sort of uh, spacing of the of the blocks and whatever. But I, yeah, I wish I'd saved that picture or saved a link or something. I can't for the life of me find it again. Yeah, so it's like these old like terraced houses maybe. Um just yeah, repurposed for as a as a shop on the ground floor. So, yeah, grocery store. We've got generic groceries from Minecraft just outside on display. And then um, I got this. These are the new pitcher plants, but I've stopped them growing. I saw this in a green video where he's placed string like one block up from where they grow and it prevents them hitting their like full growth and they just look like turnips. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. I love that. Got some bushes outside just for decoration. Then when we come in, we've got this like this is meant to be like a sliding, automatic sliding door, which is half open to make it look like uh, yeah, it's like it's in use when you walk through. And then this is where we've got to do some sort of like mental gymnastics to to see this the way it's meant it's intended, right? So uh, all over the place we've got, uh, and I've done this in multiple builds. Is we've got bookcases and. This is basically a placeholder for whatever, maybe this, in this instance, it might actually be books and it's like a magazine rack or something next to the counter or behind the counter. If it was, if this was like a, in a pub or something, I would use these to be like the bottles of stuff behind the counter. That's why I've also been using the chiseled bookshelves so much is because they're, these are like shelving units, right? So. These ones are like fully stocked up and then maybe these ones, they've sold a few. Same on this side. As we walk around, there's like stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Like some of this stuff actually suggests food stuff in Minecraft, right? So we've got like the honeycomb and we've got, uh, this is wheat, a hay bale. And then we've got mushrooms. Then this, I don't know, some generic red stuff. I've seen this used for like crates of apples and stuff before. So maybe that's what that could be. And then some like generic red, maybe this is rhubarb or something. Um, some generic vegetables in here. Um, yeah, maybe these are not sea pickles in this instance. Maybe these are cucumbers or something, maybe grapes and, uh, uh melons like, uh, or I guess we've got melon melons over here, watermelons, but maybe these are or lemons maybe. And then, I don't know, potatoes. I've seen this as before. Uh, I could have done a copper block really, could I? Because people usually think those look like beans. But uh, what else do we have? We've got another rack of stuff. And then back here, these were meant to be like, like the, the fridges with stuff in them. So let's just, let's stock the shelves. Ugh, I feel like I'm 19 again. There we go. And then um, we've got maybe, these are freezers back here maybe. And so these have more formidable doors in. Oh, I'm out of books, no way. Okay, I will come back to that. And then these are like different freezers. These are like chest freezers over here. So these have different stuff in them. Um, and yeah, just more like more shelving of stuff here. Got like different like vegetables and stuff. This is beetroot, but they haven't grown yet. Uh, so on and so forth. H eggs. I originally had this upside down, like pointing upwards instead of down. But then I thought, why? what is this meant to be actually? I put it in here just for like, decoration purposes but 
what might this actually be? And it doesn't really fit anywhere in here uh, amongst the other stuff that's here, but maybe it's like like a kebab spit or something. Um, yeah, maybe this is like the meat counter and you, like a member of staff will cut chunks off for you. That, like, I've never seen that in a supermarket, but I, I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to justify <laughs> having a, a stalagmite. Stalagmite? Stalactite in the middle of a grocery store. So I need more books. Uh, I still need my melon mini box. Um, but I do have some pumpkin ones. These were meant to go here and on here. Then I was going to put melons on here. What else can I put? Um, oh, I've got the egg over here. So maybe I'll closer to that edge. I'll put, I'll just put an egg here, whatever. Then more honey. So I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it with these bits. I don't want to like stack too much on here. So maybe I'll do that one. And do I have, hmm, I don't know, maybe I'll just stick another, kelp isn't something else that I've got anywhere else, so I'll stick it in there. Uh, and then yeah, we've just got the counter right by the door so you can pay on your way out. And yeah, I, I would like to put some more stuff up here, but that's going to require arm stand stuff. Maybe I move this, put it, let's put it on here. Um, and then let's get the red mushroom block in and I'll save the honeycomb. I think this would look too busy if I just had that on there as well. Or maybe I'll put it over here like someone's just paid for it. Yeah, I like, I like, I like how this turned out. Like this is uh, kind of a tough one. This is uh, taking some getting used to. This uh, sort of the, the top half of this building, where, um, yeah, we actually, we're we're like substituting wood for stone here. Um, that's something I struggle with is seeing a block as something that it's not. If that makes sense. Like when some people do builds and they they have like gradiented colors like going up a building or something they might end up using blocks that if it's like a stone tower they might end up using blocks that aren't stone to do that and like a a, a common one is acacia logs i think i've even done it over here maybe yeah like these are meant to potentially be stone pillars um, I don't think I've done it anywhere else, but um, yeah, I struggle with that with Minecraft. My brain is too literal, I think, and it's like, oh wait, uh, like what did you, what did we use for empty bookshelves before? Was the back of a loom? I was like, it took me a while to like see it as that, which is why I was mentioning like when you come in here, you need to be able to see that this is like stock on a shelf in a grocery store, not a bookshelf with books on it. Like not necessarily that, right? Oh, and then one thing I missed was I've got the new hanging signs here and like this kind of like a spiral. This is meant to be like a, a spinner rack with magazines on or something, or maybe like, I don't know, other stuff. I'm just going to grab some more books. Should have done this before putting these doors on. Come on. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Whatever. Yeah, so I guess that's downstairs done for now. Uh, I've also got like like the gross like um plaster tiles in the ceiling sort of look with the the pallid like electric lighting. Um like really cold coloured lighting sort of vibe yeah can you tell that i used to work in retail uh, <laughs> yeah and then i guess we've just got upstairs uh it's just a bunch of fake rooms again 
same as I've been doing all along, just like one or two blocks deep, just stuff in there to look like it's populated. But then on this one, it's just like black wool in there just to make it look like it's a room with no lights turned on. So especially at night, hopefully, uh, where's the sun? Sun? Okay, we're still in the morning. So, um, yeah, at night time, this looks like it's just like there's no one in there or they've gone to bed or something. But yeah, so I guess that's that's today's build finished. Um, ooh, need my scaffolding back. Yeah, uh, I, I like this one, actually. Uh, it's kind of simple, uh, but effective. Like, I live in a part of the country where it's a lot of, like, really old towns in the countryside where there's, like, the old-style buildings, but then there's all this, like, new modern stuff supplanted on the top of the, like, built into the ground floor, basically. Um, so that's why I've used, like, this, like, really starkly white concrete and stuff. Um, and there's all this just, like, like floor-to-ceiling panels of glass and everything. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the sort of vibe I was going for. And especially when, when you see this all, at, like, laid out next to each other, um, it really really works. It gives that vibe, I think. That's another thing that this bit relates to is in these like small countryside towns, there's a lot of this sort of thing where it's like wherever there's a bit of like a, a roundabout or something, it's always covered in flowers and made to look really pretty. And and I don't know, I guess it's like cottage core, I guess. That sort of vibe. And so at least I used to see that a lot. I don't see it as much anymore. I think uh at least where I live, the people in charge don't have the budget for that anymore. So yeah, that's that's it for today. Tomorrow, it's going to be this building, and it serves a function as well. It will allow me to tidy up some of the mess in my warehouse um, and offload some of that. And uh, yeah, so, well, it's raining. That's my cue to... Oh, it's not just raining. It's a thunderstorm. Yeah, take that thunderstorm. Okay, so I guess that's my, my cue to end. I'm done for today. I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the next build. If you feel so inclined, if you could uh, hit the like button and maybe hit subscribe to join me on my, my little world building journey here. That'd be super appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.